guys, what's up? It's Adam from Animation Epic, and uh, today I'm starting a little video series called How to Make Your Own Cartoon, which is pretty straightforward. It teaches you how to make your own high-quality cartoon in Anime Studio. If you don't know what Anime Studio is, I'd consider looking it up. It's a program very similar to Flash, which you can purchase for around $200 for Pro version and $50 for uh, the debut version. If you're a beginner, I'd suggest debut, but if you've been working with Anime Studio a little bit, then I'd consider going to Pro and buying it for the 150 extra, because it's really worth it. Like, I use it a lot, and I think it's really worth it. So, this episode, I'm going to be focusing on how to make your own character, and how to set him up. Now, this character is not the character I'll be doing, because this character comes with Anime Studio. So, I'm going to make my own. Now, I'm going to need you to open up a drawing software. Now, there are many drawing softwares out there, so you can really download any one you want, but I use Photoshop, so I'm going to open that up right now. So yeah, now Photoshop's loading. Um, it's a very expensive program, so I wouldn't use Photoshop if you're a beginner. I would kind of move with something a little bit easier to memorize. But, uh, so let's get started. Each character, you don't just draw like a character and say, oh, here he is, because you can't animate a flat image. For example, if you draw... Hold on, let me get out my brush. But if you draw a character like this, I know obviously you wouldn't draw a character like this, but you can't animate this flat image simply because you you need to break it up into parts. So here's what I mean by this. Now let's start off with the character. I'm going to start off with the character that I use in my series. For this, I'm going to use OJ. Now, I've already made all of the limbs for it. Basically, draw something like this. Like this would be considered an arm. I know it's a terrible arm, but this would be considered an arm and draw a bunch of different kinds of arms. So what happens if he wants to ask a question? Maybe make an arm like this. And if he is, you know, maybe doing a peace sign, make a hand like this. You know, kind of make a hand for every way you can. You want to make the legs. And I'm, I'm drawing badly on purpose just for just for a demo, I'm going to open up the uh, the limbs that I use. Here's the leg that I use, the normal leg, like it looks like that. I know it's a stick figure leg, but I find it easier to animate stick figure legs, so. But I can animate humans, um, so now let me open up an arm. You see? Kind of make one for everything. So now, setting up your character. This is what Anime Studio looks like when you open it. I create a new file. Get rid of that dumb alien guy. And let's open up all of the things. So you should make a character body. It's a new design. So here's OJ's body. Now you're probably thinking, what, but isn't he supposed to have eyes or a mouth or something like that? Well, yes, you are correct. He, he needs a mouth and stuff. So now here's how you set it up. By using this tool over here, you can make OJ bigger and smaller. By using this tool over here, you can move him in any direction of your choice. And using this tool here, you can rotate him. If you have the professional version, you can use other tools, such as the um, 3D looking tool, which I call it, it doesn't really have a name, and the leaning tool, where you can lean him. But I'm just gonna make him like he usually was, like this. And now we have to give him arms, and legs, and everything like that, so let's open those. Here we go. Here's the leg. Now you're probably thinking, uh-oh, his leg is really big, it's not gonna work. Well, yes it is, because as I said earlier, you could use the sizing tool to bring his foot down to the right size. Next, you use the moving tool to move it into the position, and now you're probably thinking, uh-oh, OJ's leg is in front of his body. That's not correct. Well, now you got the layers over here. And now with these layers, you can take the leg layer and drag it under the OJ layer. Simple as that. And now, the leg is under, whereas before it was over, but now it's under. So now, if you want to duplicate something, you could use this yellow square with a plus sign next to it to duplicate the previous layer. Now, you're going to see leg two. Now, you're probably thinking, uh-oh, where is it? I don't even see it. Well, something weird that Anime Studio does is when it duplicates it, it puts it exactly over the previous one. So all you have to do is just drag it to the side and you'll see it. And there is his legs. Now you probably want to give him arms. So now open up the arm image that you made. At. Now, once again, it's way too big, so you size it. And now use the rotate tool, maybe. 
and put it above the OJ layer for the effect that it is over. Now repeat this for every limb on your character. And voila, here's OJ. The character is complete. Now, from here, you can also, if you, like I said, you can add different limbs. So let's just say you want to be making him ask a question, but you want to use this arm for later in the scene. Let's just say, so you go to frame two, double click on your arm layer, and check the visible box. This will turn your arm invisible. Once you've done this, you can import the other arm you want, such as an arm asking something. Something that looks like this, maybe. Shrink it down to the correct size and rotate it to what you want it to be rotated to. Then, move your frames ahead to when you want your arm to be fully raised and drag to the correct place. And OJ's arm moves. Now, if it's, if it's showing up in an area that you don't want it to, just double click on arm asking again and uncheck the visible box. Then, go to the frame ahead and check it visible when you want it to be. If it's in a spot that you don't want it to be at a certain frame, just drag it. And since the character is pretty much done, let's add a backdrop. I'll use the one that I use for my animations on an of Insanity. So let me load that. I call it the new big grass. Because I used to have a different grass template that was really bad, so I have this one now. I just drag it and put it behind everything. And here's the background. And here's what OJ would look like. So, that's this for now. And leave a comment on this video asking for which you would like the best in the next episode. The comment with the most thumbs up will be answered in the next episode, and that will be the topic. So, example, if you say, oh, um, do an episode on lip syncing. If it gets a lot of thumbs up, then that will be the next video. So just comment right now in the comment section below because you know you really want it. You really want it.